Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's Wednesday, so welcome to our weekly Somerset Scoop, a production of Somerset County Recreation, Parks, and Tourism, where we talk about all the nice things that are going to happen in the county this week. As you can see outside, we have flipped the calendar to March, so a lot of sunnier and warmer days are ahead, so we're really excited uh, where the, what this season's going to take us and where we're going to go. As you can see, I'm not Adam, but I'm here to tell you all the good things that are happening this week. So we miss you, buddy. We'll see you back next week and get somebody who knows what they're doing out here in front of the camera. So let's get right to it. So we've got a few nice events happening this week, starting tomorrow, March 3rd, at the Washington Hotel Inn and Tavern. We have Jerry Atkins, and he'll be live from 6 to 8. Um, so that sounds like a good, good time. And they've got a half-price bottle of wine promotion on Thursdays at the, at the Washington Inn. So that sounds like a good time. Staying on the wine theme, March 4th, that'd be Friday, Mom's Night Out, Wax and Wine, at a new Somerset County business right there in the shopping center or mall uh, with spikes right in, on Mount Vernon Road. Let's Get Lit Candle Studio. Mom's Night Out, Wax and Wine at Let's Get Lit. So I think you can figure all that out. Sounds like a blast. On the 5th, we got a bake sale at Chris Field's own, the world's own, Gordon's Confectionery down there. All the proceeds are going to battle the battle against breast cancer. So we certainly, no one among us who has not been touched by uh, the awful thing that cancer is. So go down there and help them out as they do that. And then also on March 5th at Fairmount Academy, the Historical Association will have a cleanup day in meeting. And that'll be right at the Academy on Fairmount Road. That's another nice, really slice of history that is unique to Somerset County. And they're looking to, sounds like, get organized and uh, clean some stuff up. So that's, that's really nice. Shifting gears. Um, this is gonna be a short and sweet one today, but shifting gears in all seriousness. Last night, um, there was a tragic fire. Uh, the Princess Anne Police Chief, Mr. Robbie Wink, in his family's house, um, uh, they had a house fire. So there is a GoFundMe. What we'd like to do is Ms. Gail Hudson has organized a fundraiser. You can get the details at the Princess Anne Police Department's Facebook page um, for information to uh, you know, help them out at this time. So certainly our thoughts and prayers are with them. Um, that's a tragedy that cannot be understated. It looks like they have a $5,000 goal, and as of 250, about 15 minutes ago, they were $60. So I think every little bit would go a long way, and certainly we thank Mr. Wink for his service to the community, and, and we certainly want to be able to return uh, some stuff in this, in this serious time. That being said, I have a joke. What do you call an empty bottle of cheese whiz? Cheese was. And that's a pretty cheesy joke from a pretty cheesy guy. Um, we'll get back to normal next week with Adam. Thank you all very much. Please support our local businesses. Please find all the events on our Facebook page and our website here, Somerset County Recreation Parks and Tournament. And tourism, until next time, signing off. Thank you very much. See you.